See, this is the thing, right? Because we're born in the West, in Britain. Yeah. Religion gets attacked all the time. You have Richard Dawkins. You've heard of Richard Dawkins, yeah? Yeah, yeah I call him Richard Dawkins, yeah? <laughs> He's a bit of a crazy guy trying yeah. to, like, attack religions and yeah. blame everything on religions and stuff, and there's no proof for God. Yeah. Let, let me address two things here. First and foremost, we are brought up thinking that everything that we must verify has to be touch and feel. Yeah. yeah. But let me tell you something. If God could be touched and felt and seen, would that be God? No, would, that, would that be it God? It wouldn't really be a test of belief, would it? Because you would know. It's, it's not even just a belief because God actually says there's good reasons to believe in Him. For example, yeah. look. Do you believe you had a great, 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 great grandma? No. Do you believe? I mean, yeah, but I mean, there's it's obviously I know that because of why I'm here now. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's exactly the point. Have you ever seen your great, 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 great grandma? You don't have access to her DNA. I know scientifically, I, w I would have to have one to be here. How? How? how well, I don't know. <laughs> See, that's the point. Using the terminology here, scientifically, you have no clue. You have no clue. Scientifically, you're dumb. You're just, you're just dumb on this position. Mm -hmm. We're dumb on this position because what does science say? Science say we can only verify the physical world and things that we can touch and feel. Mm. This is a non-verifiable thing. Yeah. The only way you know you got a great, 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 great grandma is because you're here. You've made a logical, rational decision. Not based on the physical world, based on necessity. Mm. If it's necessary your great, 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 great grandmother existed in order for you to be here, you can't see her. But if someone says she never existed, you say, get lost, man, you're crazy. <laughs> Do you see my point? Yeah. So the point is, we don't need physical evidence all the time to come to conclusions. Exactly the same thing with God. As you said, cause and effect, creator and created. Mm. Let's put it this way. Everything in the universe, dude, that begins to exist. Okay, if I just popped like this, here I am, I just popped into existence, has a cause. You know it must have came from somewhere. Mm. Everything that begins, that starts to exist, always has a cause. Number two, the universe, without a shadow of a doubt now, began to exist. Based on philosophy, mathematics, Big Bang. You know about the Big Bang, yeah? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's not that thing after too many curries, right? <laughs> yeah, the Big Bang, okay? So from all this, we know the universe began to exist. So what logically follows? Therefore, the universe has a cause. So we just say, right, without a doubt, we know the universe has a cause. What is the nature of this cause? Well, if you create the universe, it can't be part of the universe. Because if it's part of the universe, then that would mean the universe existed and didn't exist at the same time. Madness. Does that make sense? No. That's just crazy. Madness. Can Abu Bakr exist and not exist at the same time? Don't make no Although sense. we may want him not to exist. Because he, <laughs> he talks a lot. Yeah, yeah I'm mean, kidding. So there's that. It must be one. Because they're knocking on the door. We don't assume there's Manchester United football pitch, uh, football team behind, uh, behind the door, right? We, all, we say it's one person, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. It's the most logical explanation. We know it must be all powerful. It didn't create the grain of sand. It created the whole universe, right? Yeah. And we know it must be uncreated. Because some people say, well, who created God? It must be uncreated. Why? I don't know why. But let me give you an example. Say I want to shoot you, yeah? Yeah. Good style like this, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? Hackney style. <laughs> but before I could shoot, I have to ask Abu Bakr for permission. Abu Bakr, can I shoot the geezer? He says, oh, no. he says, wait. I need to ask someone behind me to shoot. And that guy has to ask permission too. If that goes on forever, could I shoot you? No. <laughs> Impossible. Exactly the same thing with the universe. The question of saying who created God is equivalent of saying there is no creation. Because you need a final point. Because if it went on forever, we would never have creation in the first place. Spot so on. look what we've just done, just very simply. We've said there's a cause for the universe. It must be one, powerful, and uncreated. Spot this is exactly on. what the Quran says. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad lam yanid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad Say God is one, unique, eternal, self-sufficient He begets not, nor was He begotten, He's uncreated And there is nothing like Him, He's immaterial, He's outside of the universe yeah. So just using our aql in Islam is our intellect Reflection, as the Quran always tells us to reflect He uses the word yatafakkarun, for those who reflect Because the Quran is for reflecting human beings So we come to the conclusion that there must be a God For me, I think that's Irrefutable evidence there. Yeah. We could even go slowly through it again. Because they were very basic concepts, weren't they? Yeah. 
So there's evidence for it. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's evidence for it. And then what I would say now is, well, is God an absentee landlord? He just give you the keys and will go away. No, how could we apply something to God that we would never apply to ourselves? I've got a Blackberry, right? Mm. What came with my Blackberry? A manual came with my Blackberry. No. Human beings made this no. and they made the manual. No. So we make manual for things. Well, we're we saying God wouldn't give us guidance? <laughs> we're we're actually being saying lesser for the being that created the whole universe? No, no, no. We must be chiefs if we think that, man. We must be crazy. So the point uh, is, it only makes sense that he gave us revelation. Now the question is, what is the revelation? That's a profound point we need to be talking about. Uh, sorry to cut you there, because we've got a few callers, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam. My name is Ikra and I'm calling from London. Mashallah. Mashallah, Hamza, you're an inspiration for us all. And I have a question for Brother Gregory. Um, your general views on the way things are are very Islamic, which is really impressive, as you believe in one God and your views on the hijab, etc. And I'm just intrigued to ask you, what is holding you back from being a Muslim? And do you see yourself as being one? Um, I'm not ignorant to the idea. I mean, I'm slowly learning. I don't, I'm not going to I don't know a lot about the religion. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say 100% I, I feel that I'm going to convert. But even though, like, for example, he's given me very good evidence to suggest there's, there's a God. <laughs> but um, sometimes you have to believe something 100%. Just to be and sure, man. Me, as, I'm quite doubtful about anything. I'm so indecisive about everything. I go in the shop, I don't know what to buy. So for me, maybe more than the average person, it might take a bit longer to be 100% sure of what path I want to take. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand that obviously you shouldn't really take long. Death is promised to every man at the mm -hmm. end of the day. Do you know what I mean? So obviously I want to try and find the right path as quick as possible. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm young, I'm just trying to learn and, you know, hopefully find the right path, really. 